Hello creatures, my name's Chloe and today I'm going to be doing the work in progress tag. Nobody tagged me, I just thought it might be good, another good way to introduce my actual writing to the authortube community rather than just the authortube tag which was more me. You know what I mean? So I'm going to be doing that today and I'm really looking forward to it because I haven't really talked about my book with anybody I don't know in real life who hasn't been around since it started. There's very few people who know any kind of detail about it, so I'm kind of excited to let a little tiny bit of stuff slip. The first question, what is the working title of your book? Rob. Rob after one of my main characters. I do have another working title that I sometimes use, but it's a little bit spoilery, so I don't really want to use it here. Where did the idea for your book come from? I was working on another story and it was like an urban fantasy with a fey sort of bent. And I had all the same characters in that story, but it wasn't really working. And then as I kept writing, these high fantasy elements kept coming in and the characters started to outgrow the plan I had for them. And it ended up, I've now split it off from that and taken it in a new direction entirely. It's been a really natural process. So I can't really pinpoint how I actually got the idea or when that happened. What genre is your current work in progress? So it's high fantasy, it's set in a city so it's got a little bit of an urban bent but it's not a modern city so it is still definitely high fantasy. It's set in my own world and there's a lot of witches. Choose the actors for your movie adaptation. I don't want to. I've tried to do this but it didn't really work properly. I couldn't find any actors who I thought were right I don't know, it just, I'm very used to seeing fan casts for things rather than who the author would like. So I'm kind of more here for a fan cast of my book once it's out than me trying to figure it out now and not being able to find something that I'm really, really happy with or someone. Give a one sentence synopsis for your book. Curse breaking doesn't pay much. Yet. Will your book be self-published or represented by an agent? I definitely prefer an agent because I would prefer to be traditionally published for this project. I wouldn't rule out self-publishing because I do think it's a good idea to have your own income stream separate from a traditional publishing aspect if, if that's a day job or a side hustle or freelancing, something like that. But for the kind of projects that I've got in mind at the moment, they will work better if I can go through a publisher and have the advantages of that advertising if it works out well for me. That's There's a lot of ifs and buts and maybes, but I think I would definitely prefer an agent at this point. How long did it take you to write the first draft? Who said I finished it? Like, no. I've never finished anything. I'm really, really bad at finishing drafts. I have an incomplete draft of a story I really, really love, and it has been sitting unfinished for four years. Four years! I never finish anything. I really need to get better at that. But that's why we're doing AuthorTube for some accountability. What other books would you compare your story to? I had a list, but now that I'm actually saying them out loud, none of them really feel right. Like, I had Ace of Shades by Amanda Foody for the sort of city element, almost. But it, it's a different vibe. And then I had Wicked Like a Wildfire because I really love how Lana Popovic handles witchcraft and the magic in that and I'd like to bring elements of that in but now I'm thinking that was actually closer to the old elements that I'm not using anymore like Wicked Like a Wildfire is definitely the furthest of the ones I had in mind from what I'm writing but it's something I might like to incorporate kind of then I had Six of Crows because it's an urban fantasy high fantasy type thing and those comparisons are going to be made if I get published I know that assuming Six of Crows is still being hyped up by this community. But even then, that's not right because it's not a heist. My characters aren't criminals. That aspect doesn't work. But I've taken inspiration from how Lee Bardugo uses point of view chapters. And that really helped me shape this part of the story. So it's like I've taken bits and pieces from all this stuff to create this. Same as Stardust has had a massive influence by Neil Gaiman. That has had a massive influence with how I'm taking the attitude towards how the magic system works in a social structure. So, none? I don't know. These are more my influences than actual similarities. I need to read some more urban slash high fantasy and then I will get back to you. <laughs> Who or what inspired you to write the book? 
the characters in my head wouldn't shut up. What else about your book might pique readers' interests? So there's some witch on witch guerrilla warfare, cult, and a university that is known for both mathematics and magic. Can you see why I'm having trouble comparing it to anything properly? It's very much a mishmash of stuff that I really like that I wanted to see if I could put in a book and I think it's going well. It feels like it is. So that is it for the work in progress tag. I hope I wasn't too vague but it's a bit difficult when I'm nowhere near finishing the draft and I'm also super super private about what I write so it's kind of weird to be giving away any details on the internet. I'm very secretive about it so this is kind of weird but I hope that it sounds good. Maybe. We'll see. I don't know. Let me know if you like the sound of it down in the comments below. All my social media links will be down in the description box below. Subscribe if you want to, like it if you did, and I will see you soon with a new video.